Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are doing yet another huge try on clothing haul. I feel like I've been doing so many of these lately, but there are just so many brands to try out. Dolls Kill actually reached out to me asking if I wanted to try any of their products, and at first I wasn't going to take them up on it because Dolls Kill is really, really freaking edgy, and if you guys know me, I'm not at all. I'm literally not not edgy at all. But after seeing you guys comment a few times that you wanted me to try Dolls Kill clothing and try them out, I ended up taking them up on it. It's not a sponsored video, but they did send all of the clothes, but I told them I wouldn't do the video unless I was free to say whatever I want, and they were totally fine with that, which I honestly do respect of a brand, because I often say, yes, you can send stuff, but I am free to say whatever I want about your clothing, and if that doesn't work with you, then it ain't gonna work. And some brands actually do have an issue with that, so for them to not care what I have to say, they just clearly back up their clothing, and they believe that it's good quality, so they don't care, but say my honest opinion. So I threw on the most edgy makeup I knew how to do, and hopefully I will fit better with these clothes, but I think without further ado, let's get into trying these I got this big box firstly their box is pretty freaking cool like I can appreciate even though it's not my style I can appreciate a like gothic edgy look so I'm excited so if you guys want to see me try these clothes out keep on watching let's get into it okay when you open up the box it has this really cool packing paper I ripped it when I was opening it, but I do think this is really cool. I don't know, I thought that was cool. Anyways. Okay, so the first thing I really want to start with is this little purse. This thing is so cool. So it looks like this little pill bottle, and on it it says makeup addict. And it's got this little strap on the side, and it also zips like all the way around. Oh, it's a makeup bag! I am so stupid. <laughs> Inside it has this room for little brushes my finger there we go and then down here and it's kind of like a hard top so it would keep your makeup safe oh my goodness that is so freaking cute this is what i'm talking about with the brand like it's super cool and edgy like i've never seen something like this before okay the next thing we have to try on is this dress checker print is like so crazy in style right now and i have nothing checker print until now so here is this little dress as you can see, it's kind of like an overall front. It's got this little square, and then the straps are actually chains. And it just goes into this like pleated, kind of tennis looking skirt. So I think I better throw this baby on. Okay, so here is this little overall dress on. As you can see, it's got like this leather detailing right here a little front pocket, which I feel like I would put my phone in. The skirt is pretty short. It doesn't go past my fingertips, so you can tell it's probably a decently short skirt. Stays the same length around too, so it's pretty short on the back. The back's actually really cool because of this chain detailing. I don't know, that looks like way edgier than anything I own in my closet. I like the feeling of this dress because it doesn't feel super flowy. And I know that sounds weird, but I like skirts that have some structure to them so I wouldn't worry about them flying up. This one kind of feels like it's holding its place so I wouldn't have to be super worried about it. This is the type of thing that would look really good in an Instagram picture. Next item. Next thing we have to try on is this oversized sweatshirt. Okay, I'm actually really excited to have this because I have gotten into the mood, now that it's getting a little bit warm out, to wear just like oversized sweaters. So this one will be great for that. I actually don't remember what it says down here, but it has something written. And it's this red, it's really soft in the inside. It feels like kind of like a thin fleece material. Yeah, this is pretty straightforward, but we'll throw it on. Okay, here is this big oversized sweater on. I definitely could see myself wearing this on a comfy day with like some slides or something. It's once again not past my fingertips, so decently short still, but I don't think you'd have to worry because you're covering so much on top. Like I actually look like a marshmallow. The hood has like this interesting thing going on right here. It's like this little like V. Oh, I think that detailing's for when you have your hood up because then it's like a little like cover. I don't know. It's kind of washing me out in the camera, but whatever. By the way, in case you guys think I sound kind of different than I usually do, I have a cold right now. You can probably hear it. Feel a little bit run down, but I was really excited to film this, so. Anyways, okay, next item. 
this pink velvet dress. And it's just one of these flowy, cute dresses. It's got a little bit of ruffle at the top and these tie-up sleeves. This is really super cute. See, this is more my style. I would definitely wear something like this. Okay, I'll throw it on. And here is this pink velvet dress on. The quality of the velvet feels really, really nice and soft. It feels like more of a lighter velvet material, but it still has the two layers on the inside. So it's not like see, actually no, this isn't two layers. It's like one thick layer, so it's not see-through. I really like the style and the silhouette where this drops into the skirt. It's a little bit longer, but I really don't like these sleeves, these tie up sleeves. I don't know, something about this looks kind of cheap to me. This dress doesn't feel cheap at all, and that's why this is kind of annoying because I think it makes it look a little bit cheaper. I don't know, maybe I'm just being harsh because I'm sick. Okay, next item. Okay, I'm actually like a crazy person. When I chose this, I was like, this is amazing. And now I'm like, holy crap, this is freaking amazing. It's this huge woolly sweater. I'm going to wear the absolute heck out of this. It's super thick and comfortable. Like in our winter times, this will be amazing. This is so nice. I swear this is like a winter jacket. Like I usually wouldn't go for animal print but this feels amazing. And I just feel like with all black, this would be so extra, oh my goodness. I swear, if I wore this around, no one where I live dresses like this. So it would be really shooking. This is super thick. If you live somewhere where it's cold and you want like a fun fur jacket, I think this is fake fur. I'm like almost positive. Then this definitely is the right thing for you. It feels like it has lots of layers in it. It's really heavy soft. All right, another jacket. I could have swore I picked some pants, but I guess not. But here is this jacket. Oh my gosh, how extra am I? Beautiful pattern. It's got like these dragons on it. Wow, this is so stunning. And it's like this deep purple. Feels like good quality, not nearly as thick as that uh, other jacket I tried on. Okay, let's try it. Okay, so here is this jacket on. It fits me like an absolute glove. I got it in a size small and it fits really good. It's like this little cropped jacket. It goes kind of right near where my belly button is. And it's this, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. And it almost feels like a little bit silky, but definitely thicker than silk. The quality feels pretty decent, but the prices on Dolls Kill is not anything inexpensive. So I expected the quality be to be pretty decent. I'm tripping over my own words. Can't believe it's the last item already. I had like no clothes for this brand. It was in a huge box. So I like the way this looks. It really feels kind of like a costume though, not something I would wear on an everyday basis. For sure not. I don't know, maybe you would. Feels good. The skirt goes to my fingertips. This is the first skirt that has been decently long. I think it's a cute style. I think it would look good in a photo shoot. I just don't think I would wear it on an everyday basis. Okay guys, so that is all the items we had to try on today. I swear I had more items than this to try on. It felt like, like there was like one, two, only six items to try on. I'm so confused. I could have swore this was supposed to be bigger. But anyways, it's a Tuesday video, so it's an extra video. So hopefully, even though it was a small haul, you guys enjoyed this video. I would say if you're interested in Dolls Kill, I think the quality is pretty great. The prices are decently high, so I think with that comes good quality. Every item I think looks like the picture, so that definitely gets a thumbs up. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to click the subscribe button. If there's any other brands that you want to see videos like this for, or if you want to watch the playlist that I have trying a bunch of different questionable brands. I'll link it somewhere on the screen. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!